Welcome back to LandGate's channel. Today we're going to take a closer look at something that's not only transforming how we produce energy, but also creating big opportunities for landowners across the country. That's right, solar farms. Have you ever wondered how a patch of land becomes a thriving, sustainable powerhouse of clean energy? Stick around because we're breaking down the five-phase solar farm development process. Let's get started. The first phase of solar farm development is called the site control phase. This is when developers evaluate a property to see if it ticks all the boxes for a successful project. They consider everything from zoning regulations and compliance with environmental laws to soil quality and how the land fits into local energy grids. This phase is all about due diligence. Solar developers don't want to jump into construction only to find out that the land doesn't meet critical requirements. During this time, landowners typically receive around $10 to $50 per acre as a part of the option period. It's not much yet, but it's the starting point of your solar land lease. Next is the queued phase. In this phase, everything revolves around one big question. Can this project connect to the electrical grid? Utilities need to approve these connections and developers need to submit their projects to what's known as the interconnection queue to find out. Think of it like a waiting line to plug into the energy grid. And like any queue, it takes patience. Not every project gets approval, which is why this phase is still a part of the option period. Once the project gets the green light for grid connection, we can move into the planned phase. This is where things kick into high gear. Developers refine the project's design, order the solar panels, and make sure all the necessary permits and approvals are in place. There's a lot to do in this phase. It's also when the lease agreement gets upgraded. Landowners usually start seeing larger payments that range from $700 to $2,000 per acre per year. Once everything's ready to go, it's time for the building phase. This is the part where the magic happens. Solar panels, inverters, and other equipment is installed, and the entire system is connected to the power grid. The whole process usually takes just two to five months depending on the size of the solar farm. The build wraps up with the system performance tests, inspections, and quality control to make sure that everything works as planned. And finally, we have the active phase. This is when the solar farm officially starts producing energy and contributing power to the grid. For landowners, this phase often requires minimal involvement since developers handle the maintenance of the solar panels. From here, that patch of land is now a sustainable energy project generating reliable, clean energy for years to come. If you're curious about where solar farms are being developed across the country, we've got just the tool for you. With LandApp, you can easily locate active, queued, and building solar farms across the U.S. For just $10 a month, you get access to solar energy maps, whether you're a landowner, a real estate professional, or just someone curious about renewable energy. And if you're interested in leasing your land for a solar farm, you can list your land for lease on LandGate's Marketplace. It's free, and there's no obligations to accept any offers. Head over to LandGate.com or check out the links in the video description to get started.